Hi guys! A lot of people ask me how I stay on schedule. That's a big thing because I do a lot of things, especially just like you. I use a specific app for that. Now, it's not just any kind of app. It's available in iOS and Android, but this app shows planetary schedule. So it's not just a regular scheduler. It aligns you. It's called Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading over here. Um, we're going to do some brief new moon, What's how it's going to affect you. And without further ado, let's begin. Okay. When we're doing a prediction, it's going to be based on ascendant and moon sign. So if you're wondering how it's going to affect your sun sign, it doesn't. You just have to download the app, put your time and place of birth. It's down there. And then there you go. You were, you can already go to the ascendant or the moon sign that uh, that is uh, specific in your birth chart. I also highly suggest that you download the Align app, which is the other app down there, to get a personal prediction, okay? Just on your phone already. So you don't have to, this is a ge uh, general one, you can get it based for yourself with remedies and rituals that you can do. It's called Align and it's going to be down there, okay? So... Um, uh, Taurus. So for the Taurus, this is where your first house is. Okay. And we do follow sidereal astrology. So we're looking at the actual placement. The moon is going to, um, having its new moon phase in Ashwini, which is the nakshatra that belongs under the Ar Aries zodiac. So it's very important that when you're looking, um, the, mo the moon is, you go also to the 27, uh, lunar mansion. Okay. So what does it mean in Ashwini? If it's happening in Ashwini, it's happening at the first nakshatra, which is K2 ruled. K2 right now is in the ninth house. And in the ninth house, so I, I, I like to look at it from both perspective because it's affecting, you know, it's, it's K2. Don't worry about it. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to give you the prediction. Okay? <laughs> so, so first off, it's happening in K2 is in your eighth house, right? And then the new moon is happening on your 12th house. So sudden changes here about things that you have to let go already because 12th house is the last house. Now, there are enemies that you should have let go. There are hidden. Anything hidden is in the 12th house. Hidden feelings, hidden emotions, hidden regret because the moon is the mind and emotion. It's time for you to heal it because Ashwini is a healing nakshatra. So it is the perfect time to find yourself letting go of those anger, anything of the past before the moon goes to you, of course, but it travels fast. So you have this specific day to do some spiritual work about the people, okay? Because I feel like these are people who you haven't forgiven. Mm -hmm. Now, as, as, as I was saying here, K2 is in the eighth house because they were keeping secrets from you. So there are people who has kept secrets from you that it's time for you to let go. And heal from it. Perfect. Let's do this. That's a very brief for you guys. Because mm -hmm. we want it fast. It's just really boom, boom, boom. Okay. It's the two horses. So let's begin here now. Your tarot. Release and let go. That's a perfect time for a new one. Okay. So let's see. Now the Align app in the description. It gives you specific details so don't waste your time go get it okay here we go but the stubbornness is for reals with everyone not just your zodiac okay then you can get the answer next lifetime okay here we go your situation and their their situation let's begin Eight of Wands, shooting messages, shooting um, love messages to the person. Wanting to talk to them and wanting to see them. Oh my God, what is wrong with the world? Now, I just noticed that stores are open already. I mean, okay. Eight of Wands. It's showing here that You have this desire, because it's the ones. You have this 
message and you have a lot you have a lot to say you have a lot to say it's more of clarifying things now once you see the eight of wands it's really the universe telling you already we have to say this like listen Taurus you have the message you have to tell them this and there's a lot of truth over here mm -hmm. that you want to um, go for now if it's not about a message it's about moving movement taking action putting in the effort like going mm -hmm. that's that one ace of pentacles so it's about telling them and communicating to them to this person about a specific chance because pentacles is date card for me of course there's social distancing but this is to make it official to start all over again the universe is telling you here to give that offer to this person but you could have done it so many times already because the first card is there's a lot of messages there and there's one important message that you are about to send mm -hmm. this can be um, being official like let's be together you know that kind of official let's date exclusive this is also you shooting arrows to the universe that you want someone new that's also a possibility there with the eight of one and ace of pentacles you want someone new oh the hierophant oh yeah making it official then that's the truth this is you taurus so clearly you're saying here to this person the desire to be in partnership you want to explain to them every little detail every little reason why you want this to move forward this is about going to the next level of the relationship going to the next part if you were talking you know let's not waste time let's go for you know um let's date already you and me if you guys are you know talking already let's move in together but this can be also a long distance relationship and you're, you're trying to give it a chance ace of pentacles but you want something stable because that's you so your mind is very clear here let's see for them You got the Five of Swords and the World card. So this is a do-over. Now, this person will have some sort of ego trip and they would feel that they won. I'm not sure if you're willing to give them to that, but with the Five of Swords, they're claiming victory. This person is feeling that you finally learned the lesson. So the person was trying to stress out a point in the relationship. And it's showing now that this person is claiming victory. This is the part when the person says, I told you so. But it can also be hidden, meaning, you know, the breakup happened and they were just pushing you to the limit. If it's a breakup because five of swords is argument and fight. So... The person appears to be, has manipulated a situation to go into their favor to get a chance with you. Mm -hmm. And this is what they've done. Now the world card again is long distance, they're far from you. Can be an aqua also, or a fixed sign, of course, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. So the person is also saying here with the Five of Swords, that you like whatever happened between the two of you is that you deserve it and they deserve it you, you does it make sense to you that the breakup had to happen that the separation so that you guys can learn mm -hmm. but this is about their pride they're celebrating their pride mm -hmm. nine of cups celebration 
wish granted. So you coming towards them is actually their wish fulfillment and they're celebrating it because they're claiming here that finally you understand them. So the person was really stressing a point in the relationship about how you guys can be together. So there, this person has a certain way of being in a relationship that before you guys didn't understand each other. You guys didn't meet eye to eye, but now it's showing here that they will get it because you will give it because you, the Hierophant, desire it. So you want this to work out. You want to move things forward. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I'll continue this reading, Taurus, with multiple scenarios and different, uh, you know, different, uh, you know, how this is going to pan out to answer all your ifs, whatnot, and maybes in the extended. Everything is going to be down there in the description box. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys again. Bye. It's called Align 27. Now, I'll show it to you there on your screen. You can see it there. It says Green Day. Not the band. <laughs> so, if you see here, if you read more, you click the read more, it will tell you what is the day about. What are the things that you can and cannot do? Big decisions. Especially if you own a business, you're going to school, you have um, some sort of uh, work that you have a deadline. This is very, very powerful for that because it gives you the schedule. Now, it also gives you personal details of the planet and how it is affecting you. If you can see here, it says upcoming transit. You will see everything on a personal level on your chart i already put my chart here so that's why it says there john doe i'm gonna be looking at venus for now it's gonna give me my own personal reading for venus the first part up there that you are seeing that's for you and then it's gonna give you all the helpful information as far as the transit for the whole period of time that Venus is going to be in that specific house. All this and more. This is the first part. So I'm just letting you know it gets more exciting. Make sure you click in the description box my affiliate link. And together we can plan ahead.